It's breaking news. Just a few minutes ago, the Marine veteran seen placing Jordan Neely in a deadly chokehold on the subway turned himself in to face second degree manslaughter charges. Daniel Penny is being arraigned in Manhattan Criminal Court after surrendering to police at the 5th Precinct in Chinatown. Let's get more now from CBS 2's Zania Maldonado live outside the 5th Precinct Station House. Zania. Well, Mary, just as expected, Daniel Penny turning himself in shortly after 8 a.m. here at the 5th Precinct. He walked in quiet with a straight face alongside his lawyer. Take a look at the video. Now, as we've been reporting, the Manhattan District Attorney announced yesterday a second-degree manslaughter charge for Penny, the 24-year-old Marine veteran seen holding Jordan Neely in a chokehold on the subway last week, sparking dozens of protests, calling on the DA to bring forth charges. Now, Penny's attorney did speak to the media here outside the precinct, saying, Penny turned himself in, quote, voluntarily and with the sort of dignity and integrity that is characteristic of his history of service to this grateful nation. That's in reference to Penny's background as a Marine veteran. Take a, take a listen. Good morning. Uh, my name is Thomas Kniff. Uh, I'm with the law firm of Razor and Kniff. We represent Daniel Penny in this matter. Uh, shortly after 8 a.m. this morning, Daniel Penny surrendered uh, at the 5th Precinct at the request of the New York County District Attorney's Office. Sit down, sit down, sit down. He did so voluntarily and with the sort of dignity and integrity that is characteristic of his history of service to this grateful nation. The case will now go to court. Uh, we expect an arraignment will occur this afternoon and the process will unfold from there. Can you Thank tell you us what much. his mindset is this morning? How is he feeling? He's dealing with the situation, like I said, with the sort of integrity and honor uh, that is characteristic of who he is, characteristic of his honorable service in the United States Marine Corps, uh, and you know he has his head, all, head uh, held up high. Has he had any threats to his life? Has he been threatened at all? I think, I think that's all the commentary we're going to give now. We'll wait for the case to get to court, and uh, I have a feeling I'll see you all at the courthouse. Thank you. Now, up next, Penny will head to Manhattan Criminal Court. His lawyer says they expect the arraignment to take place this afternoon. Now, before that, we also expect to hear from the lawyer representing Jordan Neely's family. They're set to hold a press conference around 11 a.m. For now, Mary, that's the latest from Chinatown. Zania Maldonado, CBS News, New York. Zania, thank you. And now